Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and it looks like we're gonna take a little bit of a break from the pond dig, because when I woke up this morning, I had a message from someone wanting me to do a small job for them. It's basically just moving some dirt for like raised bed gardens, as far as I can tell. I actually gave them a price without even seeing the work. And sometimes that comes back to bite me, but bottom line, I just felt like doing it today. So we're gonna go do it. And I don't think it'll be too big of a job, but we'll find out when we get there. So I gotta get the trailer hooked up. I think the configuration on the tractor will work for this job. I've got the standard bucket with the attic grapple and the backhoe, probably just need the bucket. So we'll get loaded up, get out there and see what we have. Basically the day hasn't even started and we've got a problem here completely flat tire it's got a big hole in the center of the tread and tires junk anyway so i'm gonna have to go get a couple tires if there's anywhere open on a saturday morning it carries these trailer tires i think normally there would be but it's a holiday weekend so we'll see this might get shot down before it starts well today has really sucked so far see i don't have a nut on this wheel right here or this stud and some of these, the nuts not sticking through. Well, I was at the tire place for an hour and a half to get this one tire put on. And basically it's because when I bought this new a little over a year ago, it appears they put the wrong nuts on these studs. So if you look at this one, this is a larger diameter. I had a flat repair on this tire like a month ago. And when they did this flat repair, they said all your nuts were cross threaded. We couldn't get them off. We had to spend hours changing out all the studs to a bigger size. And they didn't charge me anything extra for that. And I thought, well, that's weird. I've never taken these tires off. I've never had them taken off. That's how they came from the factory. Well, I watched the guy on this other one, and it was exactly the same. He could barely get them off with the impact, and he couldn't get them back on. He tried chasing them like a die, and he couldn't get, couldn't get half of them. He had to cut some of them off to finally get the wheel bolted back on. So Monday or Tuesday, I've got to go and get all the studs replaced on the three tires that I haven't had it done on. I'll probably get two more tires. I bought two tires today, so it hasn't been a fun start to the day, but let's get out there and check out this job.
So the customer built four of these raised bed garden boxes, and by their math, they needed nine yards of dirt to fill them. And they ordered 12 yards of dirt and did not have enough. So I don't know if they weren't given the amount that they ordered or if the math was off. But we did the best we could to fill them up. This was kind of challenging because it was in a really tight spot. And there just wasn't much room to maneuver. So we actually had to move all the boxes out of the way and fill the back one first. And then start replacing the boxes. Sometimes I think I need a bigger tractor. But anything bigger than my machine could not have fit in here and done this job. So sometimes you just need a small tractor. It felt a little bit sketchy coming in to fill the ends of these first two boxes because I was up close to the house and it was uneven ground and it felt a little bit tippy when I would lift the bucket. But we got it done and probably my least favorite part about this job was trying to get the last of the dirt scooped up without pinching any of the sod because I don't want to transplant their grass into their garden boxes. So we had four boxes to fill for those raised bed gardens and they didn't have enough dirt. So we got two and it got about halfway through the third box, ran out of dirt, realized the cameras had shut off. But he thought he'd got extra dirt and either they shorted him on dirt or the math was off. Anyway, it was a nice little job for us today. Now we're gonna get to work here on our own property. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to more of our videos and we'll see you next time.